Hello ladies and welcome back to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers and um, so this is going to be part two of working on our folio uh, slash lap book. Uh, it's just going to be a small one. I'm using a file folder. And today I thought what we would do, or in this video, what I thought we would do, because it's the same day as um, that I made this first part, so it's just later on. <laughs> uh, I just woke up from a three-hour nap. <laughs> I guess I was tired. But uh, I'm going to use this piece of the file folder too, and we're just going to work on this back panel here. And I want to make uh, a flip that is going to go something like this. So it's going to flip up here and it's going to flip up here. And then underneath I'm going to have just a little notepad. Like a little notebook type thing. Um, so that's the idea that I have so far. It may change. But, um, so... I'm, I just went ahead, I already put a mark right there, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there is a mark there, and I'm going to cut right down like that, it may be a little longer than what I really need, but um, let me get my paper trimmer out, and... Yeah, so I'm, I gotta do a, uh, or I'm looking forward to doing my Facebook Live tonight, it's Friday. Um, I don't know when this video will be uploaded, because I think I'm gonna film all this and get it done before I actually, um, make it public. Um, so... I, what I do is I, I film my progress and upload it and leave it, leave it uh, private until I'm all done and then, then I'll make it public each day. So I'm just going to put a score, score mark. I think if I can find my, uh, I don't know what I did. Oh, here it is. It's hidden. It blended right into everything else. <laughs> so I'm going to put a score mark because I want to fold this. So I think I'm going to put it right about there. And that's about a half an inch. And this is thick file folder. So I want to make sure that I... It scored good. Alright, so I need to put this aside for a minute. Because I'm going to do something like this. Right here. Alright, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Let me score it first. I'm going to score the other end about a half an inch. These will be the parts where I glue down, if that makes sense right now. Um, okay, so I'm just going to cut this right straight across. I'm going to try. Well, actually, you know what? We don't need to go straight across. We can do a... Uh, a funky a funky kind of shape or not see so 
I'll have this. This piece will flip up and this piece will flip down. And we'll put that on there like that. And I just want to make sure that I'm not getting into my crease there, my spine. Where is it? Right there, okay. All right, so I don't know. I think I'll ink those up before I do that. Because I have no plans, I'm just swinging it. <laughs> I like kind of doing it that way sometimes because I never know what the outcome's gonna be. But I keep in mind of some of my past lap books, you know, and. Because I have done something like this in the last lap book that I made. So it would be something like that. Or do I want to put it down here more? Well, I can glue the bottom one in at least. And I wonder if I want to use Fabri-Tac to hold that down real good. We'll use this if this doesn't hold. Because on this side it's kind of uh, shiny. Not real, real shiny, but it's, I don't know if it will stick good, so we'll see. And I can't see where those spine lines are. So I'm trying to get this right in the middle of those lines so that it will fold up real nice still. And I'm just going to use my, whoops, it's going to move all around. <laughs> use my bone folder. Well, maybe I'm not going to use my bone folder yet. <laughs> I'll just use my fingers to press that down. And I got some seepage. Uh, I have some wipes here somewhere. Somewhere. I got a new pack right here. I don't know where the old pack is. Oh, these are nice wipes. These are nice thick. Almost like material. So I'm just going to wipe the extra glue off. That I got all over the place. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn it around like this and do the top. And I don't know if I want to come all the way up or if I want to go right to so they meet right in the middle. But after I get some paper in there, they will probably not meet right in the middle. Because it will be a little bit thicker. But I could be wrong. It's been known to be happen. I can admit, admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> goodness okay I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and I'll be right back 
Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did end up having to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac underneath there because the aliens wasn't sticking to this uh, type of paper. I think it would stick to the other side fine, but where this has like a, a very, like a plasticky feel, it, it, it just wasn't sticking. So what I thought we would do next before I put the paper pad in is I have some little brads here um, they're just little brads that I thought I would use and string a closure in like you know you do the figure eight or whatever but I thought these would be perfect and but I have some other little brads too that I could use and I could use a uh, circle punch as you know and then poke the brad through but I kind of would like to use these decorative ones I think they would look awfully cute in there so I'm thinking that's what we'll go with and then I'm not sure what I'll use for thread I'm trying to reach over here to get some I'll probably use this pink a black or a white would work too but I think I'll go for the pink because it goes with the flowers. So let me grab two of these little brads. These little decorative brads. They look like a little pearl earring or a button. They're cute. And I think they're just enough to hold on to some thread, you know, to hold this closed. So, let me get my awl, my little awl, or pokey tool, some people like to call them. If I took a sip of my Mountain Dew. Alright. So. I'm just going to eyeball this. I think one would look good there. And one would look good here. Looks about middle. So I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. So. And be careful that I don't get my fingers and poke that through. And then I might even use this as a guide as to where to put the second brad. I think we'll put it right there. Just as easy as that. And then put these through and we may cover this up on the other side I may not like it showing because you will see that when you open it up so I may cover it up but we're getting down on time so I gotta hurry <laughs> now I I don't really want to hurry I I don't like yeah yeah I like that I don't like when I'm trying to hurry and I mess up and all that happy stuff. So I'm just going to tie this around the brad a couple times if it will let me. I'm just going to tie a knot. And I may even just loop this around like that. And then loop this one around a couple times and leave a little string or a little hangy dangle I may put something dangled something down from that or leave it like that I'll put a knot in it though so it doesn't fray 
And then I think all I'm going to do for my for the notepad that we're going to put in there is just go rip happy. Try to stay, you know, inside the lines a little bit, but I want to rip it. <laughs> and I think I might do this as my first page. And I want to stay inside those lines, so I'm going to use this as my guide. Like that. And then I have a couple of pages picked out here. I have this cabbage dyed. And some blue food color, I think. And some coffee stain. Just gonna eyeball this again. I'm doing this one sideways because I like the family recorder word. I wonder if I can rip these both at the same time. I'm gonna move this and this out of the way. layers of this and I think that it will probably fit right in there too look at that we're a little long so I'm just gonna rip <coughs> rip it at the bottom where can I throw this little piece in I'll throw it in right here. So I wanted there to be plenty of paper. So there, I think there is plenty here. So I'm just going to rip that like that. I'm going to staple them. And then I'm going to glue them on. I could also use my bigger brads and brad these on too. I could put hole punches if I wanted to, but I think I'm going to go this way and just use the staples. But you could put two hole punches there, put your holes in here too, and then put a brad through there. You'd probably see them on the back, but... Um, but you could do that. So there, that's what that's going to look like. So then we're going to do this, this, and then we can shut it closed. So I'll put that down. Maybe we'll ink this first page up a little bit. messily 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 and then I think I'm gonna come down a little bit from that fold so it will fold nice okay so here goes nothing It's going to be permanent. We're committing. It's right about there. There we 
if you put that up, that down. Like that. And that's what we got so far, ladies. I want to thank you so much for coming along with me and um, hanging out. And hopefully, um, you guys get inspired to make one of these. Because they really are a lot of fun. And you can go so many different ways. So many different scenarios. Um, and what you do here. You could add on. You know, it's the possibilities are endless. So, there's my little pep talk. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.